here with Lori Meyer, head uh, women's softball coach here at Minnesota State. Uh, coach Meyer, two big wins today, 12-4 and one nothing against eighth-ranked Winona State. What do these games mean to you guys as a team and to the conference? Well, you know, as a team, they're important wins because Winona State's a very good team. You know, they're a national ranked team and they're up in the conference. And previous to this, we had Wayne State come in with Augustana. And, you know, good teams have come in and were able to beat us. And so I think it was important for our team to be able to come back here and have two quality wins against a very good team and do it here at our home field. Uh, game one filled with lots of uh, offensive action. Uh, well, and game two slowed down a little bit. What was the difference between two games? Well, I, I think in that first game, as you could feel, if you were there in the ballpark, you could feel the energy. And that's the way it is when both teams, teams play. I mean, it's very intense, very energetic or whatever. And I think, in, in, you know, um, Winona came out very aggressive and kind of attacked us and scored right there in the first, second inning. And then again, you know, then it was put in our hands. What were we going to do? Were we going to respond back or were we going to lay down and die? Well, that's not our team either. And so, again, we just kind of came back and, we had one, and then we put up six runs there. And I knew that that, that score, 6-4, six, 6-3, six, six, was not going to hold that we were going to need more runs to do it because we're known as just so explosive and, and so, you know, that they're a very good offensive team. And so I, I was glad we were able to get a few more runs. The second game, I, I think you can see maybe the intensity of whatever. It was more of a, each pitcher settled down. I think the strike zone was a little different the second game or whatever. And, you know, there were some nice defensive plays. There were some balls put into play, and then each team was able to get it out. I think, again, to go back to that first game with, with us, we were able to come up with the big hit. We were able to come up with the big hit, get the key RBIs. We're in the second game, both teams were, we're just, both teams were standing runners. We just hope, happened to get that solo shot in the, in the bottom of the sixth by Kelly Wood that, that secured that win for us. And, and you, you almost could sense in that second game, the longer it went, it was going to come down. It was just going to come down to one key hit or one home run. Um, Natalie Spicer uh, played in her 200th game today, if you can believe it or not. Yeah. Um, she, had a, she had a pretty big week. She had a walk-off home run yesterday against Upper Iowa and today had a grand slam in the game one. Um, what does what does what does her leadership bring bring to the team? Well, I, I think that's what you do. You, you look to your seniors when, when it's tough moments or at this point of the season when you know it's a lot of things coming down to the end of the season and you got school finishing up. There's a lot to be playing for you. Everyone's playing, trying to get the conference tournament. Everyone's trying to play for postseason or whatever. And I think that's where you have to turn to your your, your seniors. And Natalie's been in this program five years. You know, she's been to postseason play for you. She's been to the conference tournament. She understands what it's all about and how important it is. And I think it's that leadership there that she does provide. If you watch her, she's a silent leader for us. She's not my vocal rah, 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 but it's more the silent behind the scenes, which is good, which you do need. And I think, again, she does it by stepping up, you know. And yesterday, again, that walk-off home run against Upper Iowa to give us that win, that was significant. Again, the grand slam in that first game, you know. And again, you know, if you watch her, she just doesn't wear emotion on her sleeve, just very even keel, whatever. And, and so that, you know, it's good for our young players to learn and go from. And speaking of young players, uh, Kelly Wood, big uh, home run in game two. Uh, it was the deciding factor of the game. Um, um, her and Lindsay Erickson have have been playing phenomenal this year. What uh, what do they mean yeah, to you? Yeah, team? those two young ladies, and I knew when I recruited them that they were, they were going to be very good players, and they had the potential to be special players for us. And, and not only that, but, but you look at what they're doing behind the dish. Uh, I mean, they're just freshmen. Uh, uh, for us, but they're they're playing like veterans back there behind the plate. That they're handling a veteran pitching staff in Kendra Hiddle, Courtney McAvoy, and you know, given that leadership that that I expect out of my catchers to, to run our defense. But not only that, then the offensive power is what they're doing. You, you know, but again, if you watch those two kids, they're just very level-headed, very even keel kids, never too high, never too low. They just love the game and they just are, are out there enjoying it. You know, they just keep it very simple: see the ball, hit the ball. You know, so th th it's been a, a you know part of our success. Is based on what they're doing in the sixth, seventh hole. I mean, you look at the numbers they're producing and, and the numbers of what we graduated a year ago. And I, I said, I need someone to come in and replace those. And, and those two young ladies certainly are doing it. All right, Coach. Well, thank you for your time and congratulations on your two wins today. Thanks, Brady.